welcome to my channel and today we are going to do these delicious shark fish cutlets so get ready now for the shark fish cutlets I've cut them into small pieces I've added a little bit of water I've added some salt in this and now I'm going to boil them for 5 minutes and then cool it down and make a paste of all these pieces. I've turned the gas on and now I'm going to boil for about 5 minutes. The shark fish is getting boiled. It is already releasing its own uh, water. So I'll wait till it is a little dry and then switch off the gas and keep it aside for cooling. The shark fish is well boiled and now I am going to take off the middle bone of each of them. See they are so well cooked. So they have a middle bone which I will take remove that is this bone and keep it aside. mashing all of these together and then start with the other preparation they have to be well mashed this is how the center bone looks like of a shark fish so I will throw this out the same here this has to be thrown out I'm now going to take a fork and I'm going to mash all of these really very fine. You can also use your hands to mash them. I have now mashed them really very well and I'm keeping them aside. Now for 300 grams I will be adding in these ingredients which you will see shortly. I've taken about one tablespoon of ginger finely grated, two tablespoons of garlic very finely grated and two medium sized onions cut really fine. 2 tablespoons of green chilies which I finely chopped actually minced them it depends on you if you need it more spicy you can add in more green chilies I've taken chopped coriander about 2 tablespoons now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fry them all together and get them soft and then I'm going to add them into the minced uh, fish and mix them well and then prepare the cutlets so let's begin frying I'm going to begin with ginger since it takes time to cook and garlic I'm going to make them a little soft and take out the rawness of them and then I'm going to add in the onions now adding in the onions I'm going to saute them till they are nice and soft and then we'll add in the green chilies and the coriander The onions are looking nice and soft. I'm adding in the green chilies. We sorted them till they too get soft. Chilies are cooked well, 
So now I'm going to add the coriander. I saute them for about 5 seconds and then switch off the gas. And now we do add this into the fish. Since it is hot, I will wait for it to cool down so it's easier to mix. Now for this I have taken one bread, one bread loaf which I soaked and I will be adding this into it, squeezing the water off. Squeezing of the water. This will actually help to bind the cutlets. Now I will add this into the mixture. Now I am going to mix all this together. It's cooled down. The bread and all the sort of uh, onions and chilies. And to this I am going to add 2 tablespoons of vinegar. And I am going to mix them all really well together. to add a little more salt first you got to taste it and then and then add according to your taste and mix it well and now I'm going to add in one egg and I'm going to mix it well. Mix it really well and then you form the patties and then they're ready to fry. Now it's time to form the patties. I've taken a little bit, a small ball. And I'm going to do it this way. And then we do put them into the semolina and shallow fry them. So I'm going to form all these and I'm going to keep them ready. I have now added the semolina into another plate and I am going to put these cutlets into it. Then I will be shallow frying them. Now these are ready to go into the frying pan. I have now kept the pan on the gas and I'm going to shallow fry the cutlets. So I've added some oil already and keeping it for heating. The oil is hot. Now I'm going to add in the cutlets. I 
let's give them one high flame and now in another two minutes I will be turning them to the other side I have turned the flame on medium and now I'm going to fry them for another two to three minutes and then take them off they are all done now Added in another set of them. This is how they look. They are now ready, so we need to remove them. the cutlets are ready and they can be served on uh, with the ketchup or you can also serve it as a snack this is how it looks so enjoy yourselves and to prepare and don't forget to like subscribe to my channel and also comment thank you for watching and enjoy my recipes Bye.